And then in chapter two, what I what I really do is I kind of uh, show a little bit how that profoundly changes how most people were thinking of the brain. What I was saying basically this fact that we we kind of move out of this notion that the brain is about logical thinking. And we start to realize that some things that the brain does, for instance, uh, connecting me, lift this cup, uh, the, the sight of me doing that, with your own motor program for, for, for grasping a cup, that this connection basically means that you have an intuition for what I feel while I take the cup. Because you know what you feel while you take your cup. So by connecting these two in the brain, we basically start to be able to understand the biology of intuitions, the biology of how we can feel what goes on in others without having to think about it. Yeah, what I like so much about your book is that you really get into the, uh, the mechanics of how it works. It's like the individual neurons, how the neurons yes. connect, how they uh, form together. And so it, it gives a, a, and then how it, it that's kind of at the, the, the biological level and then how it kind of, uh, um, how it just it, uh, works like you're talking about it in, in what we're seeing. So when, when I pick up the cup that you see, you, you're feeling me pick up the cup and there's like a, you know that usually when you pick up the cup that you continue on and drink something so there's like a sense of intention that oh i'm he's picking up the cup and he's going to drink something so you already know in advance of what my actions are going to be and, and the nice thing is that it's no longer just an abstract notion of that you you can somehow abstractly anticipate what we really show is that your your own motor program which we can understand really as a programming of an action, is your key to kind of feeling and decoding what the other person will do. It kind of takes out the mystery of how we, we, we kind of are uh, feeling what goes on in others. And it replaces it with, uh, with something very beautiful, I think, which is kind of starting to understand the nuts and the bolts of how we connect to other people. And I think rather than diminishing the beauty of it, it, it kind of increases it because we can now see how elegantly the brain solved this seemingly very complex problem. Yeah, it used to be the empathy was kind of like based on, on maybe philosophy or mysticism. And this, exactly. kind of, it, this kind of takes it out of that realm and puts it into the real nuts and bolts of how the human mind uh, works and the biology of it. And, and I think that by doing that, we actually understand a lot about uh, how we empathize with others and, 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 and what it means for us. And, and I think that's a little bit where the, the next two chapters are about, because in the beginning, uh, 